Good morning or whatever time it is for you on Thursday, March 18th, checking in. And um, how are you? It's good to do a couple of these videos. Took a little break yesterday and was doing some working on my own um, calm. This process of where we put our attention. So how are you today? Glad we can have this time, whatever time of day it is for you now, whenever you find this. Around everything, there's a space that has nothing in it. This virus that is now sweeping the world, it's our reaction to it, how my awareness is engaging with it and all the consequences of it that determines then how my body, my emotions, my physical chemistry, uh, my neurochemistry is going to be. And what I realized in these last couple of videos as I talk too much are not actually about that we can get something up here in our heads. That was kind of the long, crazy process of how this came into my awareness. And if it has to be for you too, then you have to listen to those words. But at this point in the journey, a realization that the speaking of the words is to open a space to remove actually those pieces that we feel like we have to put together so we can see that there's a space between one thing and another. So uh, there were a couple different things I thought that I would uh, want to share today, you know, sort of heady things. and. Um, it seems that in this time, at least for a lot of us, uh, fear, anxiety, and panic uh, for some of us have, have come into our lives. Two days ago, I was icing anger, a piece of anger that had come up for me. And uh, if you haven't had a chance to that, I actually took the anger I was feeling at that time and did an example of using this ice method, this pendulum, this back and forth, to, it literally brought me calm. Today I want to uh, pay attention to fear, anxiety, panic, and um, I'm gonna use a little different illustration method. And again, another head thing that doesn't matter but when I'm working with people, really a lot of what I do is I just serve as the distractor. When I'm working with a person, paying attention with that person, if it's you, it's like, would you just see if you can bring your attention and put it here? Could you like just look at my finger for a second? The person will say, yeah, I can do that. And that changes everything. This emotional, physiological, cognitive construction that's paying attention to something in a certain way, you know, whether it's a, a school test if you're a kid, or it's a work issue if you're at work, or a relation issue issue at home or whatever it is, right? There's this whatever it is that's paying attention to whatever that is in a certain way. And there's nothing wrong with that, but when that's happening, that is what we get. Can you can you see my finger? Yeah, I, I could do that for a second. And in the instant that you pay attention to the finger, you become a reaction to that instead of this whole constellation of stuff that you were inside of before. The, the incredible power of your awareness. And most of us, it's so underappreciated. And if you look at those last three videos, you see then after that, right, distracting our attention away from what we're caught in 
to a simple point and then empty space. After that memory reconsolidation, the shaman's technique will just go back and forth between this calm of this empty space and the thing that had grabbed us. If this is the infinite thing, and this is the finite, if you try it, you get to be uh, the one who replaces the finitude, the stuckness, our awareness here with infinity, with calm, with space, with grace. So uh, the example or this way of paying attention to fear, anxiety, and panic today. Uh, you will need either an imaginary uh, drink of something, water or coffee or tea. Um, you can imagine it or you can stop the video and you can go get one. And uh, you will need a deck of cards. And this was my Christmas present. You see, these are super large cards for failing eyes. Uh, but anyway, a deck of cards. Pinocchio cards, of course, would be preferred. But again, in your imagination, absolutely as effective or a real deck of cards. So we can do it for fear, anxiety, and panic about what's going on with the virus, or you can use any emotion that's uh, with you at this time. And it can be about the virus, or it can be you know, about anything associated with it, or it can be about something completely different. And you can imagine in this game, you know, that you pick up a card and what you're noticing right now in this case is this particular card. This thing that's going on in your life. All right, so that's over here. You identify that for yourself. Whatever's going on. You know, if you're if you haven't got your pantry filled yet, the store shelves are empty. If you're in that part of the world right now where that part is going on, or if you're locked down, if you're in that part of the world, or if you're in the part of the world where there aren't any local cases, in our county and in our city, uh, two days ago, we went on state of emergency. In our little town of a few thousand people, we have our first confirmed case of the virus. We're at that stage where all the stores or the restaurants and the, and the bars are all closed. Schools are closed. Okay. So you identify for you where you're at right now. What's your emotion? Typically anger, fear, sadness. If it's something else, identify that. You know, like if it's anxiety, anxiety is fear. If it's panic, panic is fear. Lots of it, right? All right. Put that card down. Look at my finger. Can you look at my finger? Right. And how that changes everything. And then pick up that cup in your imagination. And just imagine taking a cool sip of water lemonade, coffee, tea, whatever you have, and notice it before you do it, all right? There's a space between me and this cup. I can see the coffee in there, and as it moves around, I can see it moving, and I can see the, the space. I told you that a big part of my work when I'm working with people is distracting their attention, right? Not in a bad way, in a really powerful way. We're going from here over to here. Can you do that? Take a sip. Notice the sip. Okay. 
And as that cup goes down, this works as powerfully in your imagination with an imaginary cup in your hand as it does with a real one. The cup goes back to the table and you notice it. The space between the cup and the table is disappearing. Still space all around the cup between me and the screen that I'm looking at, between me and you. When your attention is here, you are a reaction to this. When you are a reaction to space, when you are a reaction to nothing, okay, little head thing here for a second. Well, this is a response and it can only be on in response to something. That's the stuff over there. But you distracted your attention and put it here. And now in this reaction to nothing, you will probably feel a subtle difference in your body. A lot of effort is put by people who want to meditate and stuff on getting over here and staying over here. And that's fine, but then it becomes a job. Ice takes the hardness out of this process. You can just stay here as long as you want. But if you want to literally bring this awareness so that it stays with you, even in this situation, you can, you can calm the emotional content of whatever this is. You know, if it's a shortage of food or whatever it is, or you're, you're suffering symptoms now from the virus, you can, you can do that with this emotional awareness. Okay, so you can stay over here as long as you want. But if you want to bring this into that, then all you need to do Let's go from here. And if I was working with someone and right now, maybe we're working together, maybe you're doing this for real. Can you take your attention and put it back to the exact place you were before? You know, not some, not some other card, not some other situation, but go back to the nine of spades. Put your attention back here, okay? This is what I did for myself and shared in the video of two days ago. Now you're doing it right now, coming back to whatever it was you noticed that's in your life right now, fear, panic, anxiety, whatever it is, and you just, oh, what does it look like now? Does the fear feel a little bit differently? Like if it was really about that little spade right there, is it now more about that one or is it still exactly the same? You just pay attention. You're not actually trying to make anything happen here. And that's an important, important thing. Your neurobiology, your synapses are structured this way that when you open up and give, give yourself access to this situation that you identified, that's active for four to six hours. If you walk away from it now, four to six hours, it basically glues down exactly the same way. But if you came back to it tomorrow, it would feel all those same upsets. Okay, you can imagine that Back in the early days of humanity, if you ran into a tiger, you would run away from it as fast as you can. And if you survived ever after that, if you saw a tiger again, you would run as fast as you can. Because it sort of locked the situation down. And when you come back, the same, everything fires the same way inside of you and you run as fast as you can.
Okay. Most of us, we live our lives. I did the first 50 years of my life until I found this out. This has transformed my life. When you activate a situation like you just did, there is a period of four to six hours in which you can bring something else in. In the laboratory, they actually inject um, a, a, a medicine, a drug that interrupts how memories store again on a chemical level. I just told you when you come over here, you get a different chemistry. Your fight, flight, freeze, stress turns off and literally a thousand, more than a thousand different chemical reactions happen almost instantaneously in going from this stress state to this place with no stress. Now, instead of being a neurobiologist and like pumping a drug in there so that that memory doesn't, uh, the activating a memory and then sticking a drug in there so that the brain can't restore it the same way. And afterwards the mouse goes back and it's not afraid of the thing anymore. It's amazing. We're doing that little mouse, we're doing that. And just instead, because we don't have the license to get the drugs and because you can do this anywhere and it's a lot simpler, you come out here and get those thousand chemicals that are different. I feel them right now. Now, when you take your attention back to the nine of spades, you are literally bringing this into whatever got activated here. Now, in your whole situation, you may have activated only this piece. It's like, gosh, I didn't get enough uh, soda pop. Unlikely to be your major concern, but if that one was it, go back to that one. And if you pay attention to the exact thing that was activated, this has been my experience with hundreds of people and with myself hundreds of times. You bring this back there and all of a sudden that one feels different. A different emotion might come up instead of, I'm fearful that I won't have enough Coca-Cola. Well, now I'm just sad and won't be able to drink it for the next couple of weeks or whatever. I'm making trivial examples now, but yours aren't trivial. Whatever they are, yours are not trivial. They're yours and you're honoring them right now. So maybe sadness comes up about the Coke thing, or maybe it's like, pff, there's no emotion left about not having Coca-Cola. And instead it's like this one. It's like, gosh, I'm not gonna be able to go to work the next couple of weeks. And maybe that's about finances, or maybe that's about, I'm not gonna be able to see people and talk and I don't feel comfortable if I don't get to talk. So that, is not this, that's a different card, right? So when you go over here and back, something typically changes. If it doesn't, just go back until it does. We got time now, right? If you're like me, a lot of stuff is closed out there now. Okay, so what does it look like now? Well, let's say it is that thing about I'm not going to get to see my friends at work for a while. Or it is that thing, uh, I'm afraid that work isn't going to survive and I'm going to not have a job. Uh, that's a very strong likelihood for my son. You pay attention to whatever it is you notice there. What's your emotion about what's showing up for you? Anger, fear, sadness, something else. And then there's the experience. And then how does that feel in the body? Shoulders just tighten up. Gut starts to churn with nausea. Heart constricts or tingly. Sensations in the hands. Any of these can happen. Brain pain because brain cells are the same as nerve cells. These information carriers that go all the way out to the tips of our fingers and all the way into the brain and there's a little synapse in between a connection and we're activating 
this experience. We feel it in the body, we experience it in the brain. It's all part of it. There's an emotion attached to it. We take that. See how you could maybe get really like stuck in that, in reactivity to that. And if it's fear, panic, and anxiety that we're seeing around us, or maybe you have it in you right now, notice how it grabs and we're stuck here, like we can't get out. Can you see my finger? Could you do that for a second? Just look at that. That would change everything if you could just look at my finger for a minute and look at this finger and look at this finger. Now notice between this finger and this finger, ah, oh, there's a space. Put your own hands up. See the space between your hands. Carry this with you. Now, since we're spending a lot of time alone now, it's probably pretty easy to go and do this. But if you're, you know, when things get back to normal and you're out in public and we're all embarrassed again about how we look and stuff, you can be walking along and just do this. You don't even have to look at your fingers, but as your arms are kind of moving along your side, just, oh yeah, there's that space. Or if you're at work, you know, oh, there's that space. You have learned to distract, retract your attention from here and put it back over here. And in your mind, you lift up this cup or the one that you brought over. You notice the space between yourself and the cup. You pay attention to taking a sip. You notice that, take one more. And now you notice the space increasing between you and the cup and decreasing between the cup and the table. Put it back. Feel this inside yourself. Explore that feeling. It's a repeatable feeling. Whenever you distract your attention from this, retract it from that and attract it to this space. Nothing to react to. You are a reaction to nothing right now. This is the feeling of life with your fight, flight, freeze, stress response turned off for the last 10 years or so I've been pretty fanatically captivated by playing with this process with myself and many other people a couple days ago I had a card show up in my life and I made a video using that exact process for sort of well for definitely attending to it in this exact same way. I don't expect that cards will never show up in my life again if I do this a few times. But I do know that more and more, and for me now mostly, and it's been mostly for a long time, I live out of this awareness of this space. And I do know that less frequently, much less frequently than before, do these cards show up to take my attention away from calm. Okay. From here, bring your attention back here. And notice the, why do you come back to this card? Because you activated this card. This was the thing you noticed that was an upset in your life. And you say, just a moment, queen. Let me go get something for you. Literally you are, as soon as you can retract your attention from here and attract it into the space of calm, right? That's my job right now is to help you, to help distract you from being stuck here. 
when you come over here, you're literally grabbing chemistry. It's loading up in your body almost instantaneously. You're feeling it in this place subtly. And if you don't feel it, don't worry. Just be this aware. It's nothing. Just look at that. It just happens to be fundamentally different. And you take this thing of nothing that you can just see. And you bring it back here. Hey, queen, I got this for you. And you look at whatever that thing is. Oh, I might lose my job or I won't be able to see my friends for the number of weeks that we're doing this lockdown or whatever it is. Finances, food, family. Look at that exact Thing, the nose on the queen. You go back to that exact thing. Why? Because it's literally activated for four to six hours because you paid attention to it. So you don't want to bring this calm to something that's not activated. Then it, you know, tomorrow that fear, anxiety, panic is going to come up in the exact same way because you didn't activate it. Comes up, gets activated. Now, you, you, if you want to transform it, you need to bring this to the exact thing you were paying attention to, the nose on the queen. Oh, I'm going to miss my friends for these next weeks. You know, just being with them at work is such an important part of, of my life and my meaning and everything. And I'm just afraid and I'm sad. And you go back to that exact same thing. And here's the thing, because you're bringing this over, to this, because this space comes in here when the memory closes down again and re-glues, basically, it feels different. And then you notice what you notice now. Next. Well, maybe it's anger that this came in and is disrupting your life. Somewhere else on here. You take another card. I'm angry. Feels like the world is changing and may never be the same again. And I feel that one in my shoulders. You know, whatever it is that you notice here, you're not trying to feel something. You're noticing what you do feel when you let yourself feel it. The emotion where you feel it in your body and what it is you're feeling. Those three things show up when you activate a long ago memory or a current situation. <clears throat> See my finger? Put your finger up. See your finger? See the space between yourself and your hand? See the space between your two hands? It has nothing in it. The space between yourself and the cup. Drink a water. How do you feel now? If you have time and you go back to that last thing, you'll reconsolidate that. If you don't have time, this thing will glue down just like it was. And when you come back tomorrow, go to that situation, it'll feel just like it did before. And you can do this process then, All right? At some point, probably got to stop and, you know, do whatever. Go make dinner. <clears throat> if you come back to an activated memory, 
from a place of calm within a period, the reconsolidation period of four to six hours. You can change the way this glues back down so that all the memory of it is there, but the emotion of it is calm and the physical reactivity has stopped so that you can be in the presence of this situation, but you will still be this calm. Okay, so whenever you want to have a game of cards with your life, play this game with the pendulum swinging back and forth. You will bring calm to one of the cards in your deck. I've been doing this for 10 years, so I got a lot of cards that are calm, and uh, I keep finding cards that aren't. And that's okay. It's an incredible, incredible gift to be a being that can actually notice things. That can store up experiences, memories ever since we were born and probably back in the womb. We store up our environment and then we learn how to survive in it. You're brilliant. You're here. You survived. And based on those experiences, we make tools like, eh, I'm going to deal with this this way. I'm going to fight this one. I'm going to run from that one. I'm going to react to these kinds of people. All of that stuff that we accumulate. Incredible miracle that out of this vast infinity, note infinity is extremely boring, right? And wonderful, it just is. The stuff we notice is how our awareness picks out that book that's over there. And all of a sudden, instead of everything, I'm paying attention to that one single thing. And sometimes things happen in the world that grab the attention of the entire world. And now in a way more dramatic than most of us have ever experienced in our entire lifetime. Surely from you, each of us individually, has the power of our attention and how we pay attention to every situation in our life. And it's completely fine to do it out of complete reactivity. That too is a miracle that we can do that. We can do it without seeing anything outside of that situation. Like this is it. This is the way it is. Oh, I've been there many times. But at some point, it became curious, like, what's, what's outside of the card? Right? This incredible thing that my I can completely live inside of there and think that's it. And like, this is true in your card? No, that one's not true. It's this. Great. Lots of that goes on. You see the space outside. You get curious about that. You can try to like spend all this attention and techniques and stuff to get here and be here and it's all fine, but it just is, right? See my phone? Yeah, we're used to seeing that. See the space? It's just space. You can see it right now. There's nothing to do. There's no special thing you have to do to get in some place, some posture, some attitude to see this space. No, just can you see my finger? And there's a space between them. Just see it because it's there. See it? And if you go back and forth now between that thing that captures your attention, this space of nothing, and then back. Well, in that process, I did get curious about like, oh, well, how do you, um, can you take care of more than like one thing at a time? Can you take care of a whole bunch of stuff? We'll talk about that someday, but like for now, right now, in the middle of this time, if you can let your attention go back and forth between the thing that's the upset 
and the space that is the holder of nothing and everything in the infinite and grace and all of that. You will find yourself experiencing an increasing awareness that everything here in the middle of our finitude is held in the basket of infinity. Thankful to be sharing this experience of life in the basket with you. Blessings and peace for the journey and may the grace of the empty space of all that is that holds all of this together. Uh, may it be with you today in your awareness. All right. All the best. See you next time. Bye-bye.